Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Star Wars Destiny up and running on Tabletop Simulator. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously Tabletop Simulator. So that's available on Steam. So you're going to come here and purchase and install Tabletop Simulator. After you install Tabletop Simulator, you're going to want to come to the Community Hub for Tabletop Simulator. Let's click on that. And you're going to come into the workshop here. And then we're going to search for Star Wars Destiny. This is the Star Wars Destiny mod that you're going to want. So you're going to click on that. And this green button, or this button, you're just going to click on it. So it says subscribed. I'm already subscribed to it. But you're going to click on that and subscribe. And that will allow you to play it in Tabletop Simulator. So that will get you... Um, the Star Wars Destiny mod needed for Tabletop Simulator. I'm next going to show you how to download and install custom decks into Tabletop Simulator from Star Wars Destiny um, DB. So SW Destiny DB, it's an online deck builder for Star Wars Destiny. There'll be a link in the description to where you can check out check it out. So we're going to come over here, we're going to click on the decks that I've made. We're going to download a couple of these decks into Tabletop Simulator. So we're going to do um, Count Dooku and Kylo Ren. You're going to come over here. You're going to click on Download. You can download it as a text file. You can also download it for Tabletop Simulator. So you're going to click on Tabletop Simulator. And then you're going to save this file. So this is dukukylo.json. And then we're going to just save that. Okay. Go back. And we're going to do our Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper Balatik deck as well or Balatik, however you want to pronounce it. Again, download, Tabletop Simulator, hit OK. You're then going to come to wherever you save those files. So I have a few decks here, but we're going to just do um, Dooku and Kylo, and let's see, Trooper and Balatik. So we're going to copy them. You're going to come to your local drive here. You're going to go to Users, and then you're going to go to whatever your... Um, username you're using, so there's mine. You're going to come down to My Documents. You're going to then find My Games, and then Tabletop Simulator. You're then going to go into, go into Saves, Saves and Saved Objects. If you don't have the Saved Objects folder, you can go ahead and create it. You can just right click and paste. And I already have both of these files in here, but we're just going to copy and replace them for the video here, so copy and replace that, copy and replace that. Once those are um, the decks that you want to play are in this folder, you're ready to play Tabletop Simulator and play Star Wars Destiny. You're going to come to Steam, you're going to go to your library, and we're going to look for Tabletop Simulator. There it is. I'm going to open that up, and we're going to hit play. We're then going to come into um, single player. Uh, you can also do this with multiplayer as well, but I'm just doing this as a single player demonstration here. So you're going to click on Workshop, and then you're going to look for Destiny. And here's the modification we installed earlier. We're going to click on this. And when this loads, you have a few different options. Let me rotate the camera, rotate this around. So you can either do the starter deck game. So you can do Kylo Ren versus Rey, or you can do, do a two-player game, or you can do experimental deck building. We're going to do a two-player game. And then there's a red player and a blue player. The top option for characters is asking how many characters you're using. So I'm playing as Count Dooku and Kylo Ren, so I'm going to say two characters. And then it's going to ask me to pick my token set. So we have the classic token set, which is the tokens you get when you get a starter set. There is the Broken Egg Light Side Tokens, the Broken Egg Dark Side Tokens, and the Team Covenant Saga Tokens. The Broken Egg Tokens, I, I actually have the set, a set of them, and they broke them out here into light and dark. The actual set, it's just um, one set, and they're double-sided. But we're going to do the classic, and we're playing against Balotic and three Stormtroopers, so that's obviously going to be four characters, and they'll be using a classic token set as well. And once you have all your options selected, you're going to click Spawn. And this will set up the board. So I have a character slot here for um, 
Kylo Ren, character slot here for Count Dooku. They have a character slot for Balotic, as well as the first, second, and third Stormtroopers. To get the, deck, the decks that we just imported into the game, you're going to click on Objects with this little meeple. Click on that, and you come to, you're going to come down to Saved Objects. Um, you can search, or you can, if you know what it's called, you can just um, find it in this list. So if we want a Dooku, there we go, Dooku Kylo. We're going to click on that, and we'll close that. That'll spawn a little bag here. The bag has all the deck components in it. So the first thing that pops out is the deck itself. So we're going to draw that over here on the way where it says deck. The next thing out will be one of the characters. So there's Kylo Ren. We're going to drag him to a character slot. And whenever you drag a character to a character slot from the bag, it'll automatically generate the dice you need. So there's Kylo Ren's dice. The next one will be Dooku. We're going to put him there. And there's his dice. And finally, the last thing in each bag is the location card. So there's... Um, the Emperor's Throne Room. We don't need this anymore, so we can just drag this over here. We're then going to spawn in the Balatik and Stormtroopers. So again, same thing. Objects. And saved objects. And we can do Bala. See, Trooper, 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 Bala was what the file was called, so we're going to click on that. And again, the first thing out will be the deck. Then we'll get Balatik. Stormtrooper. Second Stormtrooper. And third stormtrooper. We move this over. Oh, we have the location there. Get this out of the way. I'm going to then change my team color to be red, so I can draw um, a hand. I won't be able to draw the to draw the cards for this player because I can't actually control the blue player slot. So I'm just going to have to draw the cards from here and just like lay them up here. So you right-click your deck, you can shuffle. Shuffle it a few times. And then to draw cards, you can just right click and draw. I can say, and I'll cycle it five times, I'll get five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll then determine if there's anything in here I don't want to keep. Lightsaber is good. Mind trick um, is good, but I don't necessarily need it. Mind probe is good, but I don't have the holocron out. So what I'm going to do is try to get that holocron. So I'm going to actually mulligan a couple cards here. I'm going to mulligan. Um, immobilize, or intimidate, I should say. Intimidate, mind probe, and mind trick. I'm going to keep two, so I'm going to mulligan three cards. I'll drag those back to the pile here. Shuffle it again, and draw three more cards. Alright, no holocron, but we got um, a better hand here. We got it binds all things, we got our force throw, uh, deflect, and we have a lightsaber and immobilize. The interesting thing about this mod, which is really nice, is if you want to get a resource, you can just click this button to get a resource. So you click that. Back out of the way here. Resources. Same thing for shields. If you get a shield, you can just click on these little shield icons above the card. And you just click them again to remove them. Same thing goes for damage. You take damage, you can just click here once to get one damage. Click it again to get three damage. And click it again to remove it. Let's say I have two damage, and they do another damage to Dooku. So I'm going to flip that to a three, and click that again, and click that again to remove it. And a nice thing is whenever you have a card that gives you a die, whenever you drag that to your upgrade slot, you will actually get the die. It'll generate the die as well. There's the lightsaber and the lightsaber card and the die. If you accidentally delete a die, let's say I have this lightsaber die, and I just delete it. The way you get those back is you can actually drag your lightsaber to the bag, drop it into the bag, pull it back out, and then I put the lightsaber back up here, and the die will generate again. So those bags, I mean, you kind of want to keep them out. You don't want to delete them. So if something does happen, you can drag a card in there to get that. Drag You basically drag it in, drag it out, and then put it back up here, and it will give you um, that die back. So I'm going to keep this hand now. So we're, we're going to determine what their starting hand is. So we're going to, going to flip over five cards. A personal escort is pretty good. We might want to keep that. The ATST is too powerful or too expensive to have this early in the game. Keep the drudge work. So we're actually going to mulligan three cards. Oh, and we don't need to die for that. Mulligan three cards in hoping, in hopes that we get
some other cards. So put those on top, shuffle again. Back of muscles better. Uh, another ATS, so you don't really need that in that. So we only have we only have that. And here's how you roll your dice. So in the beginning of each game, roll up all of your character dice to determine who gets to choose what battlefield to play on. You just click and drag a box around all the dice. Then you can hit R on your keyboard a few times just to roll them. Right. So I have one, two, three, four, five. The other player would then roll out their dice, and they, they would have to get um, a six or higher to be able to be um, in control and see who play or um, which battlefield they play on. So we have the box, we have all the dice selected. Roll it. There's a, a blank is zero. That's another blank. So they have two. So we're actually going to play on the throne room. All the dice just go back to their character cards. And then whoever's going second, so whoever essentially lost the roll off, will get two shields distribu distributed as they wish. So I'll put both of them on him. Then a nice thing is you can use this to also shuffle your hand. And if you're forced to discard a card, you can just say, you can just click on discard a random card, pop it right there, and then you can put it in your discard pile. And that is how you um, install run and play Tabletop Simulator or Star Wars Destiny on Tabletop Simulator and how to get custom decks into the game. I'm going to be doing some videos with um, me just testing out various decks I've built. So until next time, I want to thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I want everybody to take care and have a good one.